I'm going to show you a very easy way to add audio or your voice into a Google form, especially for our younger learners who struggle with reading. This can be used in any grade level with anyone, so audio in a form is awesome. The first thing you do have to do is you have to install the Moat extension in Chrome. And you'll want to have this for yourself as the teacher, but also your students. If your students have the extension, then they will see the pop-up boxes come up and the audio will live in a player inside forms as opposed to just a web link. So yes, you both have to have the Moat extension. So the first thing you need to do is have a form started. So here's an example of a form. It's asking about what kind of candy. Now in this, I had said what candy is best, and I want my kids maybe to not be able to read that, just listen to it. So I always put a space afterwards so that I'm going to put a web link in here. All I need to do is I can go down, since I have the Moat extension installed, any text box will usually let me use the Moat extension down here. I can record. If I click the Moat extension, what candy is the best? I click the little checkbox to stop and it automatically puts that link right in there. Now that works really well, and if I want to see what that looks like from a student's side, since I have the mode extension installed, here's what I get. What candy is best? I hit the play button. What candy is the best? And maybe I want to have that for all my choices too. So here's an example of a Kit Kat. I have a, a space, but when I go down to hit the extension down here and click record, Kit Kat. It doesn't auto insert it. What it did is it changed this one right up here. And I don't want that to happen. So the only place that you can use this extension down here, the little moat icon, is in the title or the question. So this icon down here at the bottom only works with the question. But what is cool is I can use the extension, the Chrome extension, to add it to my choices. So if I go in here and I want to add a choice where it says Kit Kat and I want to put my voice in there, I just have to go up to my top right corner to my Chrome extension and I'm going to click it and all my options will come up. I just have to click on the icon right here and do my recording. Kit Kat. I click the little checkbox and it says your moat was copied. All I have to do is go down to where I had that choice and paste. And I can do that for every single one of these. All right, so now I have all of those links in. On the editing side or the teacher side of the form, I can see all of these web links. But when I go in and view it as a student, it loads all of those as playable files. What candy is the best? Kit Kat. Snickers. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Hershey's. Gummy Bears. A super easy way to have your voice inside a Google Form.